This amp is 1200 watts. This amp is 8000 watts. And in this video, we're gonna be running both these amps on the exact same setup and seeing how much louder can we get with this big boy over here as opposed to this little fella right here. Now, of course, this is the Tar Amps Bass 1200 watt amp. And in a previous video, we tested this little guy out in my Sequoia. We hooked it up to 215s. Now we were able to get up to a 137.6. 137.6. Which considering this is only a 1200 watt amp and after box rise, we were probably not even seeing close to a thousand watts. Not too terrible. Now we were running that amp on some budget subs, but they are decently tough subs. So in today's video, we're gonna be hooking it up to one of these base 8K amps. And we're gonna see how much of an increase we can get solely based on power keeping the exact same setup. First off, well, real quick, here are the two amps. You can just see how much bigger this 8K is compared to this teeny little fella. What I like about this guy, one, still put out uh, some really decent power, still got really very loud. I know the videos didn't do it justice, but it sounded absolutely awesome. And this amp is absolutely tiny. You can stick it wherever. Uh, you, your more traditional style, uh, 1200 watt amps, generally over twice as big as this thing. So I love this guy, could literally stick it anywhere. Then of course, here's the 8K, much, much bigger, but still for an 8,000 watt amp, it's still in a pretty small footprint. And that's why I've been using these things. Here's the setup in the Sequoia. So I've got one of my base 8Ks hooked up right here like i said this thing has been really cool and then if you didn't see the last video for subs we have two 15 inch american base elite subs what is awesome about these these things are only 165 bucks but they're uh, pretty beefy subs for that price and they're really really tough which means we'll be able to put some burps with this thing we'll be able to play some music at a pretty decent volume and they should make it through also i'm in the process of rebottling that end of the shop over there so it's a huge mess, could barely fit this guy in here. But I'm going to be building a bunch of shelves over there. That will allow, allow me to get everything up on the wall. My goal is to get everything out of the middle here, just so that way I have plenty of room to pull this guy in here, really do some work on it. We're going to be doing a really, really big build in this thing here coming up next. Biggest build I've ever done. So trying to get the shop ready for that. I put in all new LEDs in this thing, and it looks so much brighter and nicer in here. Getting rid of these old guys right here. Anyway, just wanted to show y'all. I get a lot of people that always ask kind of what I'm up to, what other projects I'm working on. So just wanted to share that with y'all. Really, really appreciate you guys. All right, let's get the bumping.
36 band, 165 bucks a piece. We are giving them an absolute beating. Uh, and actually, I only feel a little bit of warmth on the dust caps, so they're not really even heated up yet. Okay, let's play some music through this thing. We have the DB meter hooked up. So let's see, one, how loud this thing kind of gets over a couple songs. And then we're going to start running some burps through it and seeing what happens. So I went to film, and for some reason, my radio's not coming on. That's no good, guys. What am I going to do without a radio? Okay, we got it back, it looks like. Getting up into the 140s, even breaking up to 142 on music. I'm definitely pretty happy with that. Again, there's some things we could change around to make the system louder for sure. Point of this is to see how much louder we can get with the exact same box and subs versus the smaller amp. And so far, definitely getting some gains. Okay, next up, let's run some test tones through it. We're going to do 35, 40, and 45 hertz. Let's see what we can get. All right, 35 hertz. 135.2 139.5 40 hertz 137.3 139.3 Wow, look at that though. Got a 143.5 45 hertz 135.1 139.2 we did get a 142 so at 40 hertz is where we got our best score we got a 143.5 knowing the last video with the smaller amp we also got our best score at 40 hertz that was a 137.3 if i did the math correctly that means we got 5.9 db higher now once again i just want to stress if we were building this to be a db monster there are a lot of things we could do to really increase those scores. Point, it was to see how much louder this amp was than the other amp. And hey, there you go. Going from a 1200 watt amp to an 8000 watt amp. Again, pushing both of those on the exact same subs, exact same box, exact same car. We got almost a six dB gain. All right, YouTube, that was fun. Kind of neat uh, just seeing that. Want to test that out. See what the difference was. I wish y'all could hear this thing, but hey, even on the 1200 watt amp, it's really pretty impressive having these 215s in a pretty big custom box really, really makes for an awesome system. All right, guys, I got to get back to work on this shop. Got a lot to do before we start on the next big build in this thing. I really, really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so, so much. If y'all would please subscribe, really, really helps. And hey, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button and leaving a comment below, that helps as well. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Stay tuned for more stuff coming soon, guys. Remember, as always, keep basing on.